morning, Claremont friend. I'm Ray, I'm a trainer with the club. And this morning, I'm kind of stiff, I'm kind of sore. So I figured I'd take you through a guided uh, whole body warm up. It's gonna be pretty gentle, probably take five minutes or so. And this would be a nice, uh, nice warm up to run through before jumping into body weight workout or even going for a hike anything like that. So go ahead and follow along. Uh, I got my coffee. It's still pretty early. Here we go. So we're going to start lying on our backs. So get that whole spine flat down against the floor. We're going to start with the bridge. So we want knees bent, heels planted, and we're just going to start by gently driving those hips up, squeezing bones tight, getting those glutes working, and then coming back down. We're gonna run through about five here. Each time, focus on waking up those glutes, waking up those butt muscles, keeping a flat spine throughout that movement. Three, let's do a couple more. Good, let's do one more here. Good. All right. So next, watching out for my coffee here. Next, I'm gonna make what I like to call cactus arms. So I'm just bringing my hands out to make sort of a field goal shape. And then keeping that spine flat against the floor, keeping my abs working. I'm gonna start to reach those hands up overhead. As far as I can while still keeping those elbows down. Might not be that far, that's okay. Pull them back down again. This time try and reach a little further. So again, we're getting the core warmed up, but we're also warming up the shoulders here. This is number three. Exhale as you slide those arms up overhead. Two more here. One more. My chest is pretty sore from a workout I did yesterday. And I'm really feeling this throughout my chest and shoulders. Good. So now I'm gonna reach those arms out wide. We're gonna get a little rotational stretch that's also going to kind of fire up my core a little bit more. So I want you to reach one foot up overhead here arms out to a T. We're just going to let that leg drop all the way across your body. So the weight of your leg is getting that spine to twist. Work on keeping the opposite shoulder down on the floor here. A couple of deep breaths. And then we're going to take that leg back up overhead. We're going to Slow and controlled, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Opposite leg comes up, so it's working the abs, and then we're dropping it over to the other side here. You can turn your head away from that foot, a little bit more of a stretch. Make sure your opposite shoulder is staying glued to the floor here. Roll it back up overhead and then lower it all the way down again. Nice. All right, so now we're going to turn over onto our stomachs. We're going to start warming up the chest a little bit. So I want you to tuck those toes under, engage your core against the floor here. So that means abs are tight, buns are tight. Imagine you're flexing your core back against the floor. Hands under shoulders, and we're gonna do a push-up, nice and controlled. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna press all the way to the top. Hold for a second, and then we're gonna lower that all the way back down again. Nice and controlled. You can always modify if you need to. You can do this on your knees. 
still want your core working now. Press all the way up, hold, all the way back down. So think about how those arms and your chest are getting fired up here. Starting to work. Five total here. Three. Couple more. Four. Let's do one more. And five. All right. From here, I want to get the calves working too. So if you start in that push up position and then lift your hips, this would be a downward dog basically. What I want you to do here is come up on those tiptoes and then control those heels all the way back down toward the floor. Let's go through five here. One more. Nice, and now to get those shoulders really working, you stay in that downward dog. Let's see if we can dive the crown of the head toward the floor and press back up for five. You're not quite there yet, that's okay. Knees on the floor, butt high. Crown of the head down, press back up. In a lunge or a split squat, it's the same thing. We're going to slowly, nice and controlled, we're going to come up to standing. So toes are tucked under, buns are tight here, and then pushing through the heel of the front foot. And all the way up, all the way back down. Five of these. That leaf blower going in the background. A couple more. And then let's simply switch speed. And starting with the knee on the floor, remember you're pushing through your heel on that front foot. Buns are tight. We're lifting straight up straight back down. We're not traveling forward, not traveling back. We're not leaning. We're just moving up and down here. That's five or so. Last little bit of mobility and warm-up work here will be a squat. So let's start by getting down Nice and low in our squat. You can even push your elbows out with, I'm sorry, push your knees out with your elbows. And while we're here, maybe we reach a hand up toward the ceiling and alternate. Maybe get a back crack in there. And if you're not quite ready to get your butt all the way down toward the floor like that, you can always hang out as low as you're able to go. You can put elbows on knees, that's fine. We just wanna work on sitting down a little lower. And then from there, we're simply gonna squeeze the buns tight to come up tall. Weight on the heels, I want you to lower down as far as you can. Come all the way back up again. Three more here. Take your time. Just a couple more. And let's do one more. Good. So, that'll get your body warmed up, get you moving, maybe get rid of some of that stiffness, and you should be ready to work. Thanks for joining. Bye.